Well, hello everybody. Uh, finally got uh, the computer working. Uh, in case you didn't see my Instagram post, uh, when I got home this evening after work, I turned on the computer and uh, after about five minutes it's, it failed. Uh, the hard drive has failed, so I'm going to need to replace the hard drive. Uh, happily, I had a uh, backup hard drive uh, from the previous operating system, so so I can that's going to keep me going until I get a new hard drive. So, so, so because of that, this video is going to be later than I anticipated. Basically, it took me an hour, an hour to a couple of hours to get the thing up and running. It meant uh, digging out all the passwords and all. Anyway, that's beside the point. We've reached 2009, so uh, let's have a look what happened that year, shall we? Hi there. So among the things that come I in 2009 included uh, Chelsea Sullenberger landing an airplane on the uh, Hudson River. Um, yeah, this happened shortly after takeoff from uh, LaGuardia, New York, and uh, it took off and apparently uh, suffered from bird strike. Uh, some large geese apparently uh, stuffed up the engines, destroying. The engines the plane glided down and uh, the only place to land was the river so uh, Chelsea Sullenberger Sully uh, decided that he's gonna land on the water and uh, yeah he did a good job everybody survived there's made a movie about it starring Tom Hanks I haven't seen it but maybe later RuPaul's Drag Race premiered that year yeah but the only drag race I'm interested in involves uh, V very fast cars with very loud engines, to be honest, but uh, used to be on it. Terry Pratchett was knighted. Uh, Terry Pratchett became Sir Terry Pratchett that year. The new Star Trek reboot film premiered that year. Um, I quite enjoyed it. I uh, thought some of the performances were excellent. I, uh, I did that thing where I avoided watching all the trailers, and so when I watched it, I, I uh, had no... Well, I had expectations, but not what the trailers were telling me to to to, to look for. So, uh, yeah, that, I quite enjoyed it. Right, the death list. So, who passed away that year? Let's have a look. Yeah, Patrick Swayze was one of the big names that passed away that year. It was sad and surprising to me. Les Paul, the man who invented the Gibson Les Paul electric guitar. That's right, guitar. Uh, Michael Jackson passed away that year. Uh, it took too many painkillers or something. Uh, David Carradine, Farrah Fawcett, uh, Farrah Fawcett Majors, the uh, Charlie's Angels, and other things as well. B. Arthur passed away that year. She's one of the Golden Girls. Wendy Richard also went that year. She's uh, those of you who watching. Those of you who watched EastEnders in the early days will remember her as uh, one of the leads out on the, uh, in that show. Uh, Pauline Fowler was her character name. Tony Hart, the artist, TV presenter. Uh, I did meet him once actually. He came to uh, do an opening at an art shop here in Oakley years and years ago. And I took some pictures and I can't find them unfortunately, but uh, they came up quite well though, you know. Nice fellow. Yeah. Patrick McGowan, number six, the prisoner. Jade Goody, uh, who became famous on uh, Big Brother, you know, uh, and I think that was the last uh, Big Brother series, the one that she was in, that I actually enjoyed watching, because after that it just, you know, just went downhill in my view. Uh, yeah, she, uh, shortly after the show she came down with cancer and uh, did quite well to uh, promote uh, cancer awareness, but unfortunately she, uh, yeah, didn't survive. Tom DeLuise, the uh, comedy actor, a uh, very funny guy, I believe. Well, from what I saw on TV. <laughs> nice chap. Uh, Dana Bannon, the writer of uh, Alien. But I also first knew him from uh, one of his first films, which was uh, Dark Star. Damn good movie, that one. <laughs> yeah, started off a student film, and then they extended it to make it a full-length proper movie. And also, lastly but not least, uh, Andy Hallett also passed away that year. 
those of you who don't know, he played uh, Lorne in the, the TV series Angel. And uh, I met him at a uh, convention in, in Blackpool and I uh, got some pictures of him. Uh, very nice guy, very keen to entertain, yeah. very good at singing and dancing, well, singing mostly. And uh, yeah, he's an amazing guy. Anyway. Two thousand nine. So that's uh, marked my first anniversary living in Ilkley. All I need to do is really tidy the place up, and it look really nice. But uh, yeah, <laughs> uh, that aside, uh, yeah, I do enjoy living here. So, two thousand nine. That's the year that I turned forty-one. And uh, yeah, I shall see you all tomorrow, or you'll see me tomorrow if you watch. And one more thing, if you recognise the tune at the beginning of this episode at the beginning of previous shows and also sometimes at the end uh, make note of it in the, in the uh, space below and uh, if you get it right you could win a little prize a little prize but you know a little prize is better than no prize hey <laughs> <laughs>